Okay, so we're back on the LQ4 project and uh, the last video we were trying to get the tack to work and uh, it failed. Found out that the smaller tack is actually bad. So since it was bad, obviously cut it out. Just some uh, soldering, no connectors, just some butt splices and uh, soldered in the old cable, the old cable so that uh, I have enough length coming off of the new tack. So originally we were going to use a potentiometer to try and help find that resistance value. And uh, in order to do that, uh, I had to have a working tack. And originally I showed you the pins, and the pins that I had set up, the way I set it up wasn't going to work right. So all we end up using are two of the pins to get a resistance value. As you can see, the red one is positive switch power. The gray wire going from the tack signal from the PCM to the tack signal of the actual tack itself. And what that's doing is it's a pull-up resistor. Basically, it's amplifying the signal that the PCM is sending out. As the PCM sends the pulse, this amplifies that signal to the tack so we can actually read it. So, that is awesome. And uh, what I'll do is I'll rotate the potentiometer and let you watch the tack so you can see what happens as we change the resistance value. And right now, we are going down. And then for this instance, <clears throat> I'm simply going to, oh, we got to go get some snips, or my favorite ones in the world. I don't even know what these ones are called, what type they are, but I love these things. They remind me of uh, uh, horseshoe pliers, so, or, or for, yeah, for clipping the um, hooves and uh, letting the horse do its thing. So I'm simply going to cut them. I don't want the resistor to, I don't want the uh, potentiometer to fall because I don't want to change the value that we put in it. You're not going to be able to see this, but I'm just cutting the wires. So, once we have the wires cut, now we can measure the resistance value that uh, we originally saw. So, we got to go back to the table again. And, um,. This is my soldering venture. If you want to do butt splices and you don't like butt connectors because they're too bulky, um, simply put two alligator clips in a vise and uh, ten each of the wires. Bada bing, bada boom, every single time. I used um, like spray paint can caps before too. They do work, but they can become tedious, uh, especially as the heat gets into the cap and into the wire. So, I'll come back to our original setup. <clears throat> so for this, the polarity doesn't matter. We're just checking resistance. So this is gonna be hard. Sorry about my, just seeing my arm here. And uh, connect this on there. Make sure it's not touching anything else. Let me get that to focus. She doesn't want to focus. There we go. So, they're not touching. I'm going to take this to resistance. And right now, the way I liked it was 6.4 6.42 kilo ohms. And um, I can add that in. I could even leave it at the 4.7 that I had before. I might hit in the medium and uh, just do a 5, 5.1 because I do have 5.1 resistors and uh, leave that as a permanent fix and uh, so for any of y'all who want to see exactly what your meter likes it's the easiest way to do it 
and you don't have to guess and wonder and go through 15 million different resistors and uh, soldering and taking them out. Because if you're not soldering them, you're wasting your time. Uh, this is resistance and it's millivolts. So if you're not soldering them, your connection is not going to be good enough. Well, that's it for this. Hopefully somebody learned something. If you have any questions, leave some comments, anything like that. Have a blessed day and Happy New Year. This day is uh, winding down.